Okay, so this is test one. I need to start recording this stuff. But in order, to, I've been putting off uh, drawing for quite a while. I uh, keep thinking that I'm gonna record this and use this as sort of a diary. But okay, I really can't draw, and for some reason figured, hey, I might as well start pick up a uh, digital drawing tablet and start drawing something only question the only issue is how the hell do I draw so uh, one of the first things I did was plug in my graphics tablet and search up and just start in drawing I want to realize that drawing on a tablet is actually a lot difficult than drawing in real life uh, well uh, drawing on physical pen and paper and for the record, I can't draw on physical pen and paper as well. Well, other than doing lines and stuff. Uh, current graphics tablet I am using is a Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch. It's a very old model, CTH460. Right. Um, so anyway, I scoured the web, find and try to find guides on how to draw and lo and behold everyone was saying the same old shit over and over again practice 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 uh, I, and I just couldn't get used to drawing on the f tablet and then I found a YouTube video nothing special about it, it was uh, some photographer's uh, video one of the suggestions that he presents is presented was to plug in, plug the graphics tablet and use it uh, without using the mouse. The idea behind it is so you get used to how the tablet works and you you're, you train your muscle memory. to get used to the tablet. Uh, this exercise I'm doing I got off of drawabox.com I believe that's the website I'll link it down if I, if I bother to but basically this the first exercise which is just to draw a straight line <coughs> now doing that this on pen and paper is actually quite easy because there is friction between the pen and the paper as well as a general idea of where my pen is relative to where my hands are uh, but doing it on a tablet it's a lot harder because I'm looking at my monitor and my tablet is on I, I'm looking at my monitor and I'm not looking at my tablet so there's this weird disconnect and also the sort of tablet my tablet because it's quite an old model and to be honest I've pretty much got ripped off at the time this was like brand new or something paid about 60 pounds but if you actually looked at the tablet you'd see that it's actually quite small really small to a point where I'm having to zoom in uh, if I tried zooming out and tried tr doing a straight line but you see how my initial line faded off and this one isn't that well any, uh, that good that straight either but basically what I was trying to get at is if I try if I zoom in I get a bit more better control but mainly I'm having to readjust everything uh, 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 Hmm. Definitely, you need to get into a posture. Honestly, this is exercise is a lot easier to do on pen and paper, um, and I have been doing it on pen and paper. But and the guide suggests that I do a lot of these exercises on pen and paper. But I feel, well, I think I want to be good at doing digital art, and and understandably wonder why you would do this on pen and paper first is just to get the fundamentals down but 
if I want to be good at digital drawing then I need to practice with the medium it's like doing a doing deadlifts um, when you want to practice when you really want to practice uh, for a marathon run yeah so it's like if you want to do a marathon you wouldn't be doing deadlifts or weight training uh, like intense uh, mu muscle building weight training as to say you want to do a lot of cardio work and that's kind of how I see the same thing with drawing, doing this uh, drawing on tablet so uh, yeah it's so the first exercise was to do lines so uh, I really should have done this straight down um, because uh, something uh, I've noticed is that the first few lines is always bad but as I keep doing this exercise over and over again I eventually get used to the emotion and generally it's just I have my elbow planted some uh, on my uh, I want to say thigh just above the thigh and keep my hands still and then like drag across without thinking too much and honestly I think uh, that's another skill in itself uh, <laughs> doing things without worrying too much with it so you see I got this one bent down so I, I would have to igno I'll ignore that and then do it again and yeah hopefully you can see that the black hair the darker line is the more probably more straight line but also uh, it also gives me a good indicator as the website suggest, uh, um, mentions uh, anything uh, anything beyond the straight line it should be uh, it should give you reason as to what where you're going wrong so you see how so if I was to draw another line here away from here now that looks fairly straight Although I noticed that there's a bit of a downward spine. There's a bit of a downward thing going on here. But I would then do that again. And notice how I didn't go as far compared to that. So that would tell me I need to hold on to it a bit longer. And for the record, this isn't really a tutorial or anything. This is literally my gonna be my diary well I guess diary I've been planning on doing something like this for a while but I just ugh, trying to balance if I'm trying to find time in general I mean I'm working full time at the moment hopefully trying to find um, time to do stuff like this is hardly any alright so that's just going left to right um, Let's try going right to left. Uh, okay. And the reasoning behind doing it in the opposite direction is to uh, further cement that muscle memory. Uh, the best what I mean is so suppose hmm, everyone heard of Street Fighter and basically there's a character in Street Fighter called Ryu um, and one of his popular moves is the Hadouken or, or a fireball and on a controller or on a joystick the input to do that is to press down down forward right and then a punch Ugh. Um, so this will work if you're on the uh, if your character is on the left side of the screen. 
but if you try to do this oh yeah that's how the screen faces in that way facing to the right but if your character is on on the right side facing towards that and you try doing this input you w that it wouldn't work you would instead have to do it the opposite so you would have to do down uh, uh, and then punch so obviously uh, you, you'd read that input from left to right so it's the same thing as this but in the opposite direction and professional fighters uh, street fighter fighters uh, basically people that play the game a lot would do these practices where they do one move in one direction and then do it again in the opposite direction uh, because they it's to um, get used to the fact that they're on the opposite side of the screen right okay um, hmm I don't know if I've been doing left or right so I'm gonna do right right to left but you know what, uh, yeah, I can't do uh, vertical lines, uh, mostly because it is a lot harder to do, and in real, in real life, I'd be twisting the page to do straight lines vertically. This half would be left to right, this half would be right this half would be right to left. Generally, it's just this mundane task of doing these exercises. I mean, my end goal, hmm, and I really haven't thought about what I'm want out of doing all of this. Uh, oh, crack. Ugh. <coughs> Would that do anything? Uh, that's a bit of a cheat. No? Also, I found it easier because my because the tablet I have is quite small. I find it easier if I actually get the canvas and slightly adjust it to here because I'm right-handed. It's just easier to do it. But you see how all these I've, I really need to work on control. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, the software I am using, by the way, is Critter. However, it's a very old version of Critter. Let's see, uh, Critter, uh, about Critter. Version there it is version two point nine point one one. I believe the latest is that on three point something. Yeah. 